Funky Friday has had a lot of secrets, especially in the past couple updates here. Secrets in which some of you guys have had no idea about. So we're going to be diving into the top 10 new secrets that Funky Friday has implemented that you guys didn't even know about. So make sure you guys smack the like and subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to use star code ATTACK and let's dive right into those juicy secrets here. Also, just a little heads up, I am getting my wisdom teeth removed on October 4th. With that being said, let's dive right into those juicy secrets, guys. First of which, we got the hiding sonar doll right inside of the shop. So if we go right by Bum, we can see right behind Bum, he has a doll hiding right next to him on top of a pole. Now you guys have probably seen this doll before, it's actually called the Fumo, in which it's a stuffed doll from the Taho Project series. And this character in particular is otherwise known as Cerno. You guys have probably seen the poster on top of the wall on the side of the Miko Boga restaurant, it's the same character find doll form. Now I'm not sure exactly when they decided to add this in, but I just noticed this as part of the latest update here, so they probably added this in pretty recently here. And honestly, it could be a hint of some sorts of what's to come in the future. Maybe they might be adding in some more Taho songs in the future, I'm not exactly sure what this signifies, but it is a pretty cool secret nonetheless. Number two, we got another pretty big secret here, and that's going to be the glowing Miku poster behind the welcome board. Some of you guys actually pointed this out on my my latest live stream last night and I was generally shocked when I first saw this but yeah if we go behind the welcome board we can actually see that the Miko poster is glowing in a higher brightness than what it was compared before the update here now we have talked about in the past that Miku does have a chance to come into Funky Friday especially with its redone songs the songs are no longer copyrighted at least three of them are completely unique which is cool and we could see them coming to Funky Friday but could this actually be a sign that there might be doing a little bit of a foreshadowing on this that could be a possibility because it was not glowing like this before this update it happened during this update right here which is pretty insane a lot of you guys didn't even know about it too which is pretty cool so i'm glad you guys pointed this one out number three we do have the new zardy map secrets as well we got a lot of secrets in this one so i guess you can count this as like 10 secrets to run honestly but if you look around the zardy map we can see a bunch of hidden cameos within the map within the corn stalks as well such as a green imposter towards the right side of the stage we also got java coded and lego hiding behind the stage tricky hiding in the back left corner of the stage as well right behind the corn stalks right there we got a miniature witty hugging an ear corn right behind the stage as well the red imposters is chilling towards the right side of the field we got the black imposter with the traffic cone towards the front of the stage sneaky hank staring at you with pink glasses near the right corner of the stage and along with 10 pumpkin decors and over 279 corn stalks that's right i actually individually counted all the corn stalks myself it's a lot of corn stalks, man. It's definitely one of the maps that has the most amount of secrets out of them all, in my personal opinion. Really great map, really well put together as well. Now before we're going all the way back to the reactor map, there is a sussy door panel hiding inside of the map here. Now if you look over at this door, we can see that there's a number pad on it, right? It's pretty normal. It's a combination for a door of some sort, you know what I mean? You just enter the code, and then you open the door. Well, there is the word sus on it. How can you write a word sus on it when you only have number pads, right? You only can only use numbers here. Maybe you can use a combination of 545 five, and that counts as sus as well, right? I guess that makes sense, huh? Within that same reactor map, we do have secret number 5, in which that's going to be a hidden morse code. Now if we look behind this control module right here, we can actually see that there's some dots and there's also some lines right behind the module on the back left corner of it. Now for those of you who don't know what morse code is, they used to use this a lot and they still do use it. Like they use it a lot for emergency systems, especially if you're on a vessel or if you're on a ship in the ocean. Well, if we use a Morse code translator on this Morse code right here, and if we type it accurately, it actually literally says somewhere. It's only one word for all that work right there. Well, maybe it might be a hint that there might be another secret hiding around within the reactor map. Maybe it's, it might be a clue, it might be a puzzle as well. We're not 100% sure. Maybe there might be the crewmate just hiding around somewhere in the map as well. I guess we gotta look a little bit deeper, a little bit more harder in order to find them. Number six, we also got some strange holographics right inside of the reactor map too. If you look on the computer screens on the map, we can see some pretty strange holographics and some pretty strange programs being brought up here. One example of which 
<laughs> is nine <laughs> plus, plus ten, ten. equaling twenty one. You stupid. 21? That's a pretty sussy sign right there, man. That's kind of funny, honestly. It reminds me of the meme of that lady trying to solve a math equation. It kind of reminds me of that. Also, there's a drawing of a crewmate saying sus and to get out of Nevada. I'm guessing that crewmate probably hates Tricky or maybe Tricky hates that crewmate, vice versa. You know that something's going on between that crewmate and Tricky, especially if he's telling you to get out of Nevada. Number seven, we got the emergency meeting here from Among Us. Now this little secret contains a bunch of cameos featuring several developers and also the creator of the map as well here. First of which, we got Lego who was dressed up as a purple cop, Java Coded's old cheesy avatar, Java's new drippy avatar, in which I do prefer the cheesy one by the way. I think the cheesy one fits him a lot better to be honest. And we also got the creator of the map as well, Vern. He's dressed up as an archer or an elf. And he's also labeled as the imposter too, so maybe they're trying to vote him out out of the game here because he is looking pretty sus especially with that imposter title right above his head right there it's a pure gimme right there number eight we're able to get another morse code as well Whoa. this time it's going to be right in the cafeteria as well in the back right section of the whole map here now we've seen this leak before it's a little picture of zardy right next to the sign but the morse code is going to be right next to that picture which is pretty interesting now i guess we gotta bring out that morse code translator once again so let's find out what this morse code says and if, once we type it into the translator it actually says resides so now we got two pieces to the puzzle here it says somewhere from earlier in the video and then we also got resides so somewhere resides another secret of some sort. There might be a third Morse code that we have to find out in the future in order to try to solve this puzzle here. Number nine, we're also able to find another hiding cameo as well here. We do have a hiding little person right behind the post on the little man world stage here. Now for those of you who don't know who this is, it actually took me a while to find this by the way. This is actually Touch Event. He is one of the animators and he's also one of the contributors for Funky Friday. He's the one who made the toy bot animation, for example, here. And some of you guys have probably noticed him hey, from my TikTok reader that we did with him a while ago, in which he was able to use his giant toy bot animation. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Now you guys know exactly who he is. That's no longer a secret, which is pretty cool. And number 10, we also do got the little man logo on top of the barricades here. It's a pretty small secret, but just just add a little bit of extra touch to the map, especially because it is Little Man's World, you know what I mean? You can see his logos right on the circle parts of the barricades here. I think that's just a little extra touch right on the map. It definitely gives him that little ego boost too, I guess. But yeah, those are 10 secrets that you guys didn't know on the latest new updates on Funky Friday. Which secrets did you guys not know about? Don't cheat. Let me know in the comments which secrets you didn't know about. So make sure you guys smack the like and subscribe. Don't forget to use star code attack, and we'll see you guys on the next one.